Coasters and Craft Beers, A Taste of Bush Gardens Williamsburg, and Howl's Cream, maybe? Well, that's going to do it for all of us here at Channel 4 News. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy. Damn it! Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? For the last time, anything you put on that prompter, Burgundy will read. Welcome back to another video, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Today, we're taking a look at Busch Gardens Williamsburg and the special events that they've announced and may announce soon. But before we start, on this channel, we cover everything from horror, theme parks, travel, and much more. So if that's your thing, consider browsing my channel, like this video if you enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel to show your support. We also have a merch shop on Teespring where you can get your edutainment merch to swag out and further support the channel. Links to the merch will be in the description below, as well as links to our social medias like Twitter and Instagram. We're always posting, so make sure to follow. Now today, we are talking about Busch Gardens Williamsburg, specifically the events that have been announced since its reopening. I hope you are ready, because it's time to get into it. So Coasters and Craft Brews was our welcome back to the park, but not in its typical fashion. These events are by reservation only with limited capacity and with social distancing measures in place to keep everyone safe while enjoying the parks. As of this recording though, this event is actually on its last day, which is August 29th. The event pairs some of your favorite coasters with 20 local craft brews to be enjoyed at the world's most beautiful theme park. Three of the coasters is what's open at the event, which is Invader, Loch Ness, and Griffin. In addition, a good amount of the gift shops are open, as well as a lot of the like food and drink offerings. It's good to note that due to the limited capacity, the whole entire theme park is not open at the moment to walk through. You have England, Scotland, um, Ireland, France, and New France open. So basically at the moment, it's just a straight shot in and a straight shot back out. You can't do the whole entire loop through the theme park. Now, like I said, today is the last day of the event. So if you haven't had a chance to go check it out and experience it, unfortunately, you will not have another chance. But not to worry, we did visit the event and we posted a whole entire walkthrough of the event. I think it's my most recent video, so make sure to check that out. Also, Busch Gardens Williamsburg has already announced its next special event, and it's right around the corner. Beginning on September 2nd, on select days through September 27th, we have a taste of Busch Gardens. This event, like the last, will pair coasters and food and drink offerings, but this time around, it's gonna be more of a wine festival, and it seems like we're also gonna get a little bit more of the park. This time we'll have the Oktoberfest portion of the park also open, in addition to the sections of the park that were open at the last event, as well as a, a few additional rides, um, Verbolton and Le Scoot, just to name a few. Now it's not 100%, but it does seem like Italy and Festa Italy are the only portions of the park that will still remain closed. We will be covering the event on this channel as soon as it opens, so make sure to subscribe and also click that little bell icon to be notified once that goes live. Now we've talked about what's happened, what's coming soon, but now let's talk about what potentially is coming next. Busch Gardens Williamsburg has already promised that we will be getting more special events and fall is right around the corner. That being said, it would make a lot of sense if the next event that gets announced is either Howl Scream or something Halloween related. Busch Gardens Tampa has already announced that Howl Scream will be happening, but it will be a scare zone only event. This is a good indicator that Williamsburg may follow in their footsteps, but I'm hoping that we potentially actually get some houses at our event as well. Williamsburg is not immune to the pandemic, but it's fared a little bit better than the Tampa area, which is what I'm leaning on as a potential reason why we may still get some houses if we get house Green. This event has yet to be announced, so we can only look at the potential indicators at the moment, like uh, Tampa already announcing that they're going to have a Howl Scream, and then speculate and hope for the best. Now I'm turning this question around to you. What do you think will be the next event to be announced? Also, have you already visited the event or plan to visit the event? Let us know in the comments below. Now if you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It really does help a whole lot. I will see you guys on the next video, but don't forget to ask yourself, have you been entertained? <laughs>